Hello, and welcome to a new episode of Keep Wondering, where I cover anything on science and technology. It's a plane that would never have been built in today's world. It consumes up to 20 tons of fuel every hour and is too big to fit into a third of the world's airports. However, this Cold War relic was designed to perform tasks that no other aircraft could. Built as an air launch platform, it can lift massive components for the Soviet space program and potentially send spacecraft into orbit. In 1982, the Soviet Union begins airlifting components for a new space launch system, attaching massive parts to the backs of planes, and flying them hundreds of kilometers across the country. It's all been a part of the space race to create Buran, the Soviet Union's answer to the American space shuttle system. The Soviets converted bombers from the 1950s for the mission, but the planes aren't up to it. They are only capable of lifting tiny components. As a result, the Soviets will require a significantly larger plane. By turning Boeing 747s into shuttle carriers, the Americans were able to meet their need for space shuttle transportation. The Soviets, on the other hand, wanted to airlift their entire launch system, including massive rocket boosters and core stages, so they naturally turned to the Soviet Union's largest plane. Just in time for the Buran launches, the Antonov-124 would enter service as the world's largest and most capable air transporter. But even the colossal 124 wasn't going to be enough. Engineers would have to expand the fuselage and add two more engines to make the plane even bigger. Antonov-225 would be the name of this next Titan. By the way, if you are enjoying this video, then a sub to the channel will be gigantic. Now returning to the capabilities of this magnificent airplane. This plane was unlike any other in the world. Six turbofans produce a whopping 1,380 kilonewton of thrust, allowing it to lift more than 250 tons. The primary objective of the 225 would be to transport rocket components, but designers hope to use the plane to accomplish something that never had done before. That is, to use this plane as a launch pad for their spacecraft. This plane can easily cruise at 800 km per hour at a maximum altitude of 11,000 meters and has a range of 15,400 km. The Soviets provided Western spectators a first-hand look in the following years, when the massive 225 flew to the Paris Air Show. It was displayed at Western Air Shows while the Soviets attempted to find a new use for the behemoth, since the country was on the verge of bankruptcy by 1989. The Soviet Union fell apart in 1991, and the 225 was sent to storage facility outside of Kiev in Ukraine, where it was set to scavenge. However, Ukraine's Antonov Design Bureau felt that the plane could fill a niche, and after years in storage, $20 million were invested into new engines, modernized avionics and a new cargo hold. In January of 2002, it took its first chartered flight. The 225 carried a payload of 187 tons, and throughout the next two decades, the 225 set new world records for the massive cargoes it handled. The operating cost was up to $30,000 per hour. It only flies when no other aircraft can perform the task, and with just one of a kind ever constructed, the massive plane stays unique, attracting spectators wherever it goes. Spacecraft transporter turned cargo plane. The Antonov 225 was built in an era when technological advantages, whether in space or in the air, were to be achieved, no matter the cost. The world's largest plane also assisted in the fight against COVID, flying from China to Poland, Germany to Namibia, Czech Republic to Romania, carrying crucial medical supplies and humanitarian goods. Unfortunately, the aircraft was undergoing repairs at Antonov Airport during the current Ukraine crisis. The jet was destroyed according to a report from Radio Liberty on February 27. Ukrainian officials acknowledged this in a press release the next day. Because of its engineering masterpiece and immense capabilities, Antonov-225 was nicknamed as Myria, in English this translates to dream. And like many other dreams it came to an end. However, because to the space race and technological rivalry between the United States and the Soviet Union, we were able to see the world's largest plane. While the Soviets were building this flying behemoth, American engineers were creating the world's fastest plane. Even after 58 years since its first flight, it still maintains the record. The link to that video will be in the description if you wish to watch it. If you enjoyed this video, please express your love by clicking the lovely thumbs up and the adorable red button. You've been watching Keep Wondering, and I'll see you soon for the next video.